Welcome to Chris VV Journey, where I take you on a trip to VV, always as an adventurer, never as a financial advisor, so please invest with caution. So today's episode is a little bit different, a little bit quicker, dirtier, just off the top of my head. So we will talk about the information we got from the newest AMA stuff, about the future of Ecomi and how everything is handled. Um, then I will address the, the elephant in the room, the bot problem. Um, I think there's a lot of a lot has been said about it, so um, I don't have any new facts or anything, but I guess I can share my perspective and I think we should always start within ourselves and from that perspective, uh, how we manage the situation. I will also criticize a little bit about Ikumi, but um, I'm actually more talking about ourselves, what we can do, how we can manage the situation. Um, yeah, and we got a news about the new Spider-Man drop. The comic drop we got on Tuesday, tomorrow. So I will just go into that real quick. We don't have all the infos yet, but I will tell you what I know about it, right? So let's get started, I guess. So, and we're back. Um, yeah. Let, let's talk about the news we got right first. So the good ones, the good interesting news. So um, Vivi told us that they have, uh, they had a few hundred thousand app downloads before and during the Disney drop. So that means there's a lot of new people on the app, acting on the app. Um, I guess a lot of people there would have just had some interest and maybe not actually new users. They just downloaded the app, looked at the app and so on and so forth. However, with a few hundred thousand, that means there's, there's still a big uptick in users, right? Um, Ecomi thinks uh, a million users until the end of the year is realistic. And I, yeah, of course, I agree. So, well, let's say, let's say active accounts, right? <laughs> I guess you think where I'm going with that. So let's say active accounts, a million, I guess that's realistic. Um, and there were 150 to 200,000 people during the Disney drops. And this seems to be, I mean, that's that's pretty much what I would have expected. Um, that's clearly a pretty nice nice number, right? 100 to 200,000. That's kind of what I was talking about, what I thought, how many people were there. Um, after the, the app crashed so bad, I thought it was more, right? I, 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 got, I got the feeling it was more, but 150,000 to 200,000 users within the Disney drop, that's... Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. That makes sense, right? So so most users, or I, I guess a big chunk of the users use various devices. And I mean, that, right? I guess that shouldn't be anything someone doesn't know, right? There's, there's a lot of people that use various devices. Like I'm the main VV user in the house and we have three devices, sometimes even four devices. Um, I mean, that is potentially my family, but if they had, if I hadn't told them, they wouldn't know. And I tell them what to do with the stuff. So yes, it's, it's theirs. So they are participating. Um, and you can say these are active users, but they are driven from my perspective, right? So I guess that is how many people work. Um, then there's people that build machines to, I don't know, to, to push buttons on 10 phones, 20 phones, whatever. Then we have uh, people trying emulating on the computer, but I think that's not working so well. So there's a lot of stuff happening. So I guess 150 and 200,000 users with roughly a million downloads, I guess that is pretty, I mean, that's a number I can believe in, right? So um, the team, they are still, still acquiring new team members, which they need, they want to scale. So of course they are acquiring new teammates. Um, and they told us that they have an art team with 60, uh, with 60 artists or at least 60, 60 professionals working at six AAA studios, even the one that was responsible for God of War. So, um, that was an info. I was, I was a little bit surprised about that because that means they are really, really actively working on a interesting vvverse environment that has to be the case because you don't <laughs> you don't need 60 artists at all to buy the uh, to to not to buy to create the content we have on the vv app like those those pieces we get on the vv app those are nice models 
but a seasoned professional 3D artist should be able to create these in like a day or two, right? So that, that should be, I mean, I'm not talking about the whole design process. So there's a process in designing on paper or in, in like Photoshop, like there's an artist who's just drawing the stuff, right? So he's designing and they talk about it and what's a better, better uh, pose for the character, etc., etc. So I'm not talking about that. That's a different beast, but just creating like if, if you're in a triple a studio usually uh, so th that should mean they are usually 3d artists most of those are 3d artists um yeah and if they have the design ready and everything is done so that they just need to create the model that should be one or two days maybe three days but most of these models they ain't even hard textured um really simple rigs in my opinion so that is mostly not animated so one up to three days i think three days is a little bit it's a stretch right it's long i mean if there's if there's a 3d artist that's working as a professional and you you're in the space right now please let me know in the comments if you if you're seeing this please let me know in the comments your uh your perspective on this but i mean i was looking at the human bot statue and when i was looking at that i was like Ooh, that that that's got to be done quick there were so many many clipping points and yeah, let's say rectangles that are looking out. So I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe that this is taking taking weeks, you know, or that you need like 50 people for that. I, I don't I don't see that. And it's not like we have that huge amount of drops. I mean, we had this at DesignerCon right now for this short time, but usually you don't even get one 3D model a day. It's, it's even less. So yeah, I don't know. Also, most pieces we got like in blind boxes, these are just, ha they just have different colorways. So that's not even hard to do. And, um, or different poses. Like let's say the, the zombie hunter Spider-Man, that's just two different poses. So that's one model being done, rigged up, and then you just have to create a pose, which is, which literally takes minutes. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't see that as, uh, as a thing that takes a lot of manpower. So this has to mean that they are really working hard on the VB verse. So the app is about to get a big update next week. The VV app, um, the, the comics in general will have a big update. So they, they are easier to be sorted out, to be filtered, etc. So that should be great. The showroom version two is completed. That's what they already said. That's an info that's not new and uh, should be launched within the next two weeks. Um, and for the next big event, they will try to, to bring us digital signatures. Which is super interesting. Digital signatures, I'm really interested in that, especially how they will verify it. Like if you take the, let, let's take comics, right? If you have comics graded by CGC, like those 9.8 comics I talk about all the time. So they usually, have, they have a yellow label. And if they have a yellow label, that means that a signature edition, they are, they are signed. And you don't get that just because it's signed. You only get it if it was signed, witnessed by someone. And not just anyone, he has to be part of the witness program of the grading company. So I'm interested to see if Vivi is going to do the same. Like if they say, okay, so we need worldwide people that go out there when there's some kind of event and they are just there witnessing that these signatures are really done. Or if these digital signatures are just happening within the app and you don't have any access to it, you, you, you Basically, that you aren't able to get to your artist, meet them and get a signature. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I'm really, really interested to see it. Um, I mean, for me, that would be easy. I got two tablets with a pen, right? So I can I can actually have someone uh, sign on my on my tablet. But yeah, I mean, that's not how most people's phones and tablets work. So I guess I will have to do something else. So MTL money transfer license there in the yeah, in, in the final phase, um, they already have a Medium article ready and should be released within the next two weeks, which will give a whole push to the company, to Omi and all, I guess, in my opinion. And it will um, it will support up to 20 currencies. That is interesting. <sighs> There's also a lot of new licenses coming, uh, licenses. And one of it will be something we drink every day. That's a statement by David Yu. I have no idea what that's going to mean. I only drink water, right? So, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
might be Coca-Cola because, I mean, in America, I guess they, they drink a lot of Coca-Cola, but uh, I have no idea. So uh, they also talked about the, the problems with licensing anime stuff. And yeah, that's I, I talked about this on this channel also before. So if you want to uh, license animation stuff from, from Japan, it's really complicated because you don't have one big licensor. Or even if you have one big licensor, then you still need to, to, to talk about every single step and all the stuff like you don't license the thing and then you create a product it's like you need to license for doing shirts you need the license for doing the marks you need the license for the video and you need the license for the comics so that that's a whole different beast um that's really problematic that's why we most likely will see drops again that are not being released in china japan i don't know um but we have to see i mean maybe they can make it happen if if any company can make that happen i guess it's a komi because they are really professional in licensing, right? But I get it, it's, it's tough to do. So there will also be new product categories in the 2022, but I don't know if that's any news, like it, it, it's the nature of the app, right? To bring us new categories, uh, I'm pretty sure about that. So the OMI token, the OMI utility will have uh, three staking models and they already have the medium article ready and it will come soon, <laughs> soon. So this is a pretty big one. Most people think that when that article comes out and we find out about the utility of the OMI token, that it's yeah more likely a hit or miss. Either it will hit the OMI token and it will drop in price because it's not a good article or it's a really good article. Tell us there's a lot of utility in the token and then it will rise to a point where, where it's not going to come down again, at least not in the near future. So kind of in, like, you, you kind of can invest now and I was thinking about investing but I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes but the the whole bot thing that makes me question that and it's hard that I have to say that I, I don't like to say that but yeah it's actually the one and it's not even the bots problem it's a pretty different problem in relation to the bots but I will talk about that in a minute so just saying if you want to invest in OMI it's better to do it soon no financial advice here, but if this article is out, it will probably rise, right? So uh, immutable X is happening within the next two weeks. Um, the the uh, migration was a little bit uh, complicated, which makes sense. Like that, that's not news. I was pretty much expecting that. It's 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 a tough thing to do, right? So um, after the ex the exchanges, after the migration, we will have more exchanges. Um, and they have to integrate the onboarding processes for that also so also takes a little bit of time so about the vverse you got some pretty interesting news so it will start by in the second quarter of 2022 so if i had to make an estimation i'd say at the end of the second quarter of 2022 maybe even later uh, and this is this is really interesting the info we got here so it would start with the vv city which I guess will be something like a hub, but maybe even a whole city of like a hub that, but just the whole city. And everyone will be, will, will be having a base there, which is their showroom 2.0. So land in the VVverse can be bought in the, in the suburbs, right? Of VV city. Um, and then the neighboring cities or oh, oh, in the neighbor neighborhood, right? Neighborhood, suburbs, whatever. Um, and around the, the the brand worlds so that means you have you have a main hub which is called the city which we will have to see if it's really like a city like is it like a city in in gta where you can really roam in that place do whatever kind of stuff or if it's really like a small place like the 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 creative hub in fortnite which is quite a bit small so that's interesting to see. I mean, it has to be big if everyone has a showroom, right? Like if, if 200,000 people have a showroom, you kind of need some houses, like big buildings, right? So that's going to be interesting. Um, building land around this city is really interesting and that there's brand world. So brand worlds, I guess you will have like Disney world, right? Where all the Disney stuff is and Marvel world where they have all the Marvel stuff. Maybe it's one big thing, but I guess they will, they will separate these stuff. Um, so that's interesting. So buying land now is the interesting part. Can you just choose, choose the land, which like 
if you want to be besides Disney, can you buy that? Or if it's just a drop and you get any piece, that would be different. So that's an interesting one. Um, and and how you will be able to... I mean, even if it's a drop, I guess in the aftermarket would be you get something by the drop and then you put it on the market. And depending where the where the next brand is or how close you are to VV City, the prices on the marketplace would be different, right? Because it's more interesting in some places than in others. So that's interesting. So that's that's a beast. We need more information, but this is going to be really interesting. Still don't know if I have any shot at any place of land in, in regards to that, but we'll see. So they also said the Facebook metaverse look they look at it like a door opener and they want to be they, they, they try to strive for compatibility. Um, which I guess these metaverses they have to be compatible. If they aren't, if they if there isn't interoperability between them, that would be problematic and yeah, shoot in the foot, right? <clears throat> so Disney doesn't know yet if they want to have their meta metaverse or if they want to metaverse. I guess I always say meta, but it's metaverse, or if they want to work with someone. I mean, if they want, if they work with someone, there's a high possibility they would use VV or they would use Facebook. Who knows, right? Last but not least, there's several live events planned for 2022, like NYC, the New York Comic Con, STCC, the San Diego Comic Con, Designer Con, and some international cons. So I hope they will attend at the at the, um, the cons here in Germany. I guess the best one for that would be CCXP um, Comic Con Experience. That's just a pro big professional con here in Germany. We only had it once before, um, but that was dope already. So I hope with the next one in 2022 would be great to have a Komi there and see what's happening. So that is all the news. Now let's talk about the bot problem, right? So, I mean, you probably haven't seen all over, I don't know, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, whatever, what, whatever is your place. So I was looking, not at numbers, but I was looking in my, at my close field and I'm in a, in a group with 600 people in a German group where we talk about it and where we share our, our results from the drops. So whenever this bot problem comes up, I see something weird happening. So there's a drop with 800 pieces and we just heard we had about 200k people trying to get the Disney drop, right? 200k. So the Disney drops were usually around the 20k. That means only 1 in 10 people has a shot to get one. And there's people who get like 3. They are lucky. That means 2 others has to be quite unlucky and don't get one, right? From those 1 in 10 people at all. So, um, and when this bot problem comes up, I see people... They're going for a drop with 888 pieces. Let's say there's just 100,000 people trying. That means less than 1 in 100 will get this piece. You have 100 people trying and only one will get it. And I mean, there's a possibility that it's actually twice the amount. So that's, that's 200 people trying and only one has a chance to get it. And there's still someone who snacks too. And it's not even 888 pieces on the market because Ekomi takes like the first 40. So it's even less, right? So possibility is super weird, super, super hard to get this piece. And then there's people like, oh man, the damn bots, they don't leave anything. Man, that's it. Bot or not, you had almost no chance to begin with. Like, would you, if someone says, look, here's a chance, you have a 1 in 200 chance. Uh, do this. If you fail, you die. If you win, you get a million. Would you do it? I wouldn't. Because in 199 cases, I will be dead. And in one case, I get a million. That, that, that's, that's crazy, right? So that's something I don't get. Um, like, like, keep it realistically. And I was looking at the numbers in our group. I mean, that's a, it's a group of 600 people. Not everyone is sharing their, res their results. So it's not enough to have like a scientific method going, <laughs> going on like, okay, it's not enough people. You would need like at least a thousand people to get a, to get a good numbering. But from what I see, so with that 600, so let's say it's half scientific, right? From what I see, we are still doing good. Like it, it, from what I see, I would say there's a few percentage, if, I don't know, something between 2%. 5%, 10%, something in that range that is actually getting snagged by, by bots. 
and I think everything else is, is still in the market. So I don't think this is the biggest problem. Um, what I do think what is a big problem at this point is the way Ikomi is having the conversation about it. So they first said they have less than 1% in bots. Everyone knew that statement was BS, right? We all we don't need to talk about it. If, only if you know knew a little bit about computers and programs, you know that that can be true, right? If that would be true, Nike would knock at the door and ask, how can you help us with the drops? Right? That, that, that would be the greatest thing for Nike if they have the bot problem under control. So 1% was BS. So that's, I don't know, that, that might be the case they didn't know better. It might be the case they lied, right? That's a possibility. I'm not saying that it either one of those things. I'm just saying it's, it's a bad statement. And what I like even less now is they do communicate quite a lot. We get a tweet every 15 minutes before a drop. We get a tweet from the, from the uh, floor of the designer con, but we don't get any tweet about the bot problem. And like I said, I don't, I don't see the bot problem as big yet. I do think it's a big problem. I think, um, and I think it needs to be handled fast because this is going to grow. It has so much attention now that we will have more bot users by the end of the week than before that, because now people can sell the bots because everyone knows about the bots because everyone is complaining about the bots, right? That's, that's how it works. So, um, so the thing is they need to address that. They need to be clear. They need to tell us how does the drop system work? There's people buying up iPhones like it's nothing because they think they have a better chance at drops and this might be useless. I bought ethernet cables to, to be faster. And honestly, I think that's BS. I don't think it makes any difference. Does it make a difference where I live? For me personally, I think there isn't any chance that I can get a drop that has less than 6,000 editions. It doesn't work. So I thought maybe it's because I'm in Germany. I could, uh, I could see that this is a stupid, statement because I asked in our group with other Germans, did any one of you get a drop? Yes, there's people in Germany that get a drop under 6,000 pieces. So it doesn't have to be, uh, has to be the case that I'm in Germany, um, but maybe something else, maybe there's something we don't know. So um, what I'm trying to say is if we know how this thing works, we can, we can try to better ourselves. We can try to enhance our chances and not buying stuff by chance. That's, I don't know, that's stupid, right? And it also brings more clarity about what to do and not, um, yeah, don't, don't throw wild expectations in the room. And also they need to tell us what's, what's with the, what's up with the bots? Like, what are you doing? Are you actually caring? Look, I have no problem. Personally, I know that that would be a bad marketing move, but personally, if they say we don't care about the bots, we get sold out, we're happy and collectors will pay whatever. I actually heard that someone said that, uh, that um, was it David, not the other guy. Um, I guess it was right. I don't know. Someone said that one of the, the heads of uh, Vivi said that, that that collectors wouldn't care at all. They, they just buy it on the marketplace. I don't care about money. Um, I don't know if that statement is true. I haven't heard that myself. If this statement was made, that's kind of bad because I'm not that guy. And that means I'm wrong on this platform. I'm surely not one of those guys. I, I have to care about money because I don't have an infinite amount of money, right? So that, that, that's the point. So I hope the statement was wrong. If, it, if it's right, then I know what I'm doing. I'm not caring about the VVverse anymore. Like that's, that's the part where I exit the whole thing, right? I mean, and not exit the whole thing, but I would, I would go for a short-term goal and not go for a long-term goal anymore. Right now, I'm totally long-term. I'm totally long-term. I totally enjoy the collecting part. I totally enjoy um, following a long-term strategy and I'm super excited about the VVverse. But if it's kind of made clear at one point that the VVverse is not for people like me and I mean like people with not so big pockets, let's say it this way, right? Most of us. So um, yeah, that would mean I, I have to rethink my strategy here. And this is what the problem is with Ikomi and Vivi not communicating. You need to let us know something 
otherwise there's 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 other look i don't know better way to invest but there are other ways to invest and at some point i might have to reconsider just to make sure what's going on right at, at the point where i know i'm not not part of their equation i'm not the part uh i'm not the the, the people they are targeting i need to know and if they are i ain't talking that's that's tough right so yeah also what i would say in this in this situation what i do i don't look too much at others i just look at myself so this new week i was successful so i'm cool if i hadn't been successful i would keep on trying at this point bots or not we're all in a position where we can make money right at least you can make money aside from just having the fun of collecting there's also the fun of collecting and people seem to 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 forget about that but that's also part of it right that's a big part for me um and then there's you can even make money while having fun collecting so there's a lot of plus there there's a lot of positives to see here um if you're just in it for the money you're still in a place where you can make easy easy money right that's i don't know if, if you think you missed 10 10 uh 10 uh drops and you, you're not making money anymore i don't know what you're doing <laughs> like i really don't know it's still easy to make money Maybe not uh, as much as much as before, but I haven't been there before. But I still think it's a great place to make money. So, so much for that. Um, and don't look too much at other people. Don't look at the ex uh, success of others. That will always make you think less of your own success, which is stupid. It doesn't change your reality. I see a lot of people go for go for people they know, like there's, they're in their realm, like in Facebook groups or whatever. And then they talk down on them like, yeah, you're lucky you have to be using a bot and whatever. And these people, why do they have to show their gains? And I'm like, it doesn't change your reality, right? That, that's the thing. It doesn't change your reality. It doesn't matter if someone gets something and you don't get nothing because it doesn't affect you. If he didn't get it, that doesn't mean you would get it. That's the same with the bots. If a hundred pieces get away stealing by bots, that still doesn't mean that you would have got them. If you think you you aren't lucky, then you aren't lucky. That that's, that keeps being part of it. Don't think that because a few percentage are more available, available that you are the lucky one that will get those. Most likely not. Not if you ain't lucky in the first place, right? So that's something to think about. That's how I think about it. If I get something, I'm happy, I'm lucky. If I don't get anything, it's it's no one's fault right i don't know i don't know and i can always go so nobody has to be mad about that yeah and i guess that's that's what i think so please let me know in the comments what are your thoughts do you think i'm stupid because you, you can tell me at, at this point this is the one 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 day you can tell me that my ideas are stupid and <laughs> you can get all emotional in the comments that's that's okay don't be hostile against each other okay but um, yeah, let me know. I'm, I'm really interested how you guys see it. If you think what I what I talk is total BS, or if I if I have a point here, right? Um, and your whole experience, share your experience. I'm interested. I'm interested to see what the experience of others is, positive and negative, just to see to to get more info. Right? The more info we have, the better we can work. Uh, yeah. Last but not least, we got in. We had something about Spider-Man, so let's see about that. Uh, yeah, you guys can see it. Maybe we can see about that. Wait a second. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Yeah. So, Ekomi announced the Tuesday comic book drop. That's an interesting one, right? So, they didn't give any details yet. But we have this sweet... Whoops. Sweet collection again. So... Center is Amazing Spider-Man 14. That's the first appearance of the Green Goblin. That's 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 a big one because that's one of the biggest foes of Spider-Man. Um, there's the Hulk in it, as we can see on the cover. That's interesting. Um, yeah, the, the one in the middle is the is the regular cover, so that's the one I need to get at all. Um, then on the left of it, that's the Uncommon again half black and white half colored so I'm, I'm not a fan of the uncommons at all right on the right of the of the cover of the middle cover we see also a black and white variant but with a colored middle so that's the sean chen exclusive variant that is dope right sean chen great artist and it's interesting that we don't have a colored and uncolored one so we get this piece where the the main character the goblin is colored that is a new 
that is new we haven't had that before and on the far left you can see the fully colored and rendered edition of the of the book also awesome that will be the rare and ultra rare again and on the far right we can see the secret rare which has yeah th that's fine i mean it looks okay but i totally dig the dig the exclusive covers again um most likely just going to get a common or uncommon again I, I recently got a lot of uncommons which is fine i just i just switch them out right i sell them make three or four bucks extra and buy buy the uh, the common one that's fine for me <laughs> i don't care about the uncommons at this point um but it's cool so yeah i don't know i don't think i will be lucky with the with the uh variant covers i'm not sure maybe i snatched one on the aftermarket uh, prices are getting better today and yesterday already but they are still pretty down especially for the rare ones and this rare one has a bit of color looks great so maybe i go for that i have no idea um and keep in mind this is this is an amazing spider-man book so if you want to keep collecting these extra points <clears throat> for following a series that means when this one comes out you need to buy it otherwise you don't get the daily points and because the daily points are still being accumulated already right it's not when mcp starts it's already happening so you need to get this at drop day in in, in best case i mean you, you can buy it later it doesn't matter but for each day you have this thing in your collection you get these extra points right because it's amazing spider-man it's already the fourth book in the amazing spider-man collection and you need at least three but you're you're already you, you need to have amazing spider-man 361 50 and number one also in your collection yeah that's it for today um i was speaking quite a lot i guess yes half an hour that's a lot again so um yeah as i said let me know in the comments what do you guys think uh, here we can see another video of uh, the guys so maybe we can take a little quick look here i have to take down the sound um, i hope you can see this so what is interesting at the start of the video when it when it gets back to the loop look here uh, where do i have it no that's not so uh get out of the way so what you can see in the background on the on the screen so that's a monopoly figure that's going to come and it looks to be animated. So I guess there's quite soon coming uh, a Monopoly piece to us. And what I also saw in the background, see here's in the middle, in the back, there's a big gold statue, kind of rabbit statue. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we will also get that one at some point, right? And that's basically it. And that, that's, that's one of the videos that disturbs me a bit, right? Because they show, yeah, we have a successful day at the con and everyone is happy and everyone is running around. Uh, <laughs> nobody's using masks, great. Um, yeah, but aside from that, I was just interested to see them all talking, doing their thing and there's not a single tweet about the bot problem. That's, that's my problem with that, that they don't talk about it at all. But maybe, maybe we'll hear something, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I mean, I could understand if today they don't, they don't push out anything, so they have a day off. I'm, I'm, I have empathy that the, the con days were tough and the con days have been uh, stressful. I'm sure about that. But yeah, we need to hear something about this. Anything. Whatever they tell us, it will be better than silence, right? So, yeah. Would be nice if you leave a like if you're still here. If you haven't subscribed, consider it. I will try to get these videos out daily. They are not always on the same time and sometimes I skip a day. It's just real life coming into the way. But um, yeah, would love to have you guys here. And I hope you're successful in your drops. Let me know if you have been successful with the designer con drops. I'm interested to hear your stories. And yeah, see you guys next day, I guess. Really?